Well, good morning. Oh, that sounded great. My voice cracking. The old singing CEO coming to you live from the Ford Ranger Studios. Going to the book of Lamentations, chapter 3, 22 and 23. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. I've had a, a lot to ponder myself here uh, lately and think about it. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. We all plot, we all plan, we all scheme about something. How to defeat the IRS, how to get a better job, how to get a better car, how to get money off this, how to do this, how to save money on this, blah, 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 whatever it might be. But we are always in the hollow of God's hand. Amen. Because he is taking care of us. He's written the script. We just need to get on board and follow along with what he's got got for us in store for us. Um, it's a terrible thing to do things your own way and realize that you're going to screw it up. Because you just need to, that, that phrase that used to get hammered home to me all the time. Let go and let God. I never really understood it until just a few months ago but it's amazing I, a lot of things been going on here in the last few months um different situations been taking a couple financial hits had oh the irs a bunch of money and and uh car repairs and things wasn't planning on these types of things going on and, and you know it drains your finances when you're not ready for it and uh God's been working it out. I mean, he's done some pretty awesome things for me that I never asked him for, never expected, but he took care of it. Um, last week I went to church and, and I was like, you know what? Nope, I'm going to write the check and, and wrote the check for the for the tithes. And uh, this, this week I was, or yesterday I was going through the checkbook and I realized that the car insurance hadn't been taken out yet because I always take the bills out first thing and da-da-da-da-da. And... Uh, so I called the insurance company and said, wait a minute, is everything okay? Because you all haven't taken the, the insurance uh, payment out. Oh, well, you had some rewards come due, so you didn't know anything this month. I'm like, there's God showing up again. He just does it time and time and time again. I haven't asked him for anything. I haven't, I haven't, haven't been praying for anything necessarily other than just keep me straight and keep me on the narrow path the, the the normal things but he has taken care of me and he has met his i guess I, I go back to the scripture it's by his mercies that we're not consumed they are great every morning great is his faithfulness to me who am i you know i am nothing but god is taking care of me and i'm telling you uh uh over the years, I've seen some pretty wacky doodle things, um, working in corrections and just, they call me naive, I guess, to a point, but I, I never really expected to see some people that just blatantly love to cause hurt and injury to other people, not necessarily speaking of prisoners, but just in life general. And when I got in this pol political thing, uh, you know, like I said, call me naive, but I, I didn't know the extents that some people would go to to make other people miserable, to destroy other people's lives, just say things about you. And I, I you know, I, I it, it just boggles my mind. And, and I struggle with wanting to react to things, even in, in life in general, when somebody accuses you of something or somebody does a perceived wrong to you, we want to react. We want to. The Donald Trump syndrome. I want to hit you back just as hard as you hit me, and we can't do that. It's 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 pointless. It's a waste of time. Turn it over to God. And I know it's hard. I'm preaching to myself, turning things over to God. I like to mess them up all on my own, and and then wonder how how I got to where I got. That's just human nature. But I'm telling you, God has been taking care of me. He has been just amazing me with His goodness, His faithfulness. His mercy, His love, I am so undeserving of all of it. And I, I'm proclaiming now, thank you, Jesus, for everything that you're doing in my life. Because you are marvelous, you are wonderful. 
and I go back to the scriptures, Proverbs 3, 22 and 23. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. It is of the Lord's mercy. I have not been consumed because his compassions fail not. He loves me in spite of myself. Even when I was a hundred million miles away, it's only one step back to him. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. We used to sing this song in church at Thanksgiving time. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have need of my thy hand has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. That's what it's all about, serving Christ. And I'm not asking for miracles. I'm not asking for riches. I'm not asking for, uh, you know, uh, I'm not asking for the, the, the smooth way. I like everything to be smooth, but I know that's not possible. I just want him to love me. I just want him to save me. I just want him to take me to heaven when it's my time to go. And, and I'm not that old, but trust me, life is starting to get a little harder and things are starting to get a little less easy for me. And uh, I just want to be ready to go on whatever that day may be, wherever, however, uh, just Lord, let me let me live for you until the day that I can stand before you. And I, I want to hear, well done, thou good and faithful servant, and enter in. So the old singing CO, just a couple things to ponder here. I hope you have a blessed and glorious day. But if you're not serving Christ and you're watching this video, I am encouraging you. Dive into the Word. Start studying the Word learn it, live it as best you can, and sure you're going to make a misstep along the way because none of us are perfect and all of us have sinned and fall short of his glory. But that's why Christ is there sitting at the right hand of the Father making intercession for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I know I'm paraphrasing. Don't hate me because I didn't say it 100% perfect, but he is there with that stretched out hand and saying, come on, I love you, serve me, and let's do this. And, and I'm just telling you, to serve Christ is the best thing you can do. You're not going to be perfect. You're not going to get everything right. You're going to make bad choices. You're going to say stupid stuff. You're going to do the wrong thing. You're going to rely on your own uh, initiatives, your own thoughts, your own desires at some point, but just to realize that God is there and God is in charge and we really, really need to focus on Christ. The world is coming to a close. Things are, are happening daily that are blowing my mind. I'm looking, uh, um, when Iran attacked Israel and they knocked those, those drones and things out of the sky and it was a huge debacle for Iran. I mean, that is biblical level stuff. I mean, they're going to attack Israel one of these days and, and uh, just, it's coming to a close. The Bible is, the book of Revelation is, is happening right before our eyes. And I know people say you're a whack job if you believe that. You're out of your mind. We've been hearing that, but look at those people in the days of Noah. I mean, how long did it take him to build that ark? A hundred years or so. And Noah's saying it's going to rain. Oh, you crazy old man. There's nothing going to happen. There's gonna, nothing ever going to happen. But one day they all went that ark and God shut that door on that ark. And it started to rain and they changed their minds real quick. But it was too late. Beating on that door, it was too late. And one day it's going to be too late. And that's why you need to be ready with everything in your soul, with everything in your mind, with everything in your heart. You need to be ready for Jesus, amen, because you may not make it out of out of your driveway without driving day. We don't know what's in store for us the next five seconds from now, so be prepared always. I love you, Jesus. I proclaim it that Christ is the Lord. I proclaim it for all to hear. God, help me. 
God bless me. God, Lord, keep, keep me in the hollow of your hand, Lord. And should I stumble along the way, Lord, correct me. Lord, bring me back into the fold. Whatever you need to do, Lord, let me be on board with it. And let me just worship you 100% with everything I have. Again, just the old singing CO coming to you with something to ponder. And let me leave you with the scripture again. Lamentations. I might have said Proverbs because I actually wrote, wrote that wrote Proverbs instead of Lamentations. Lamentation 3, 22 and 23. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The old singing CO coming to you live from Winchester, Virginia. See you on down the road.